Gojira. Magma. Magma's hot, but is this album? Let's find out. Gojira is one of these bands that first time you hear them and you don't know who it is, you're like, who is that? I need to hear more. You just need more. Gojira are one of the best and finest progressive metal acts out there. One thing that they do best is they are creative, extremely creative. The guitar the guitar work on most of their albums is just wizardry. And same thing with the drums. Um, they happen to be very technical, but at the same time, it's it's listenable and it has a groove to it and and it's just really fun. A lot of the guitar work on their albums is just fun. You know, they they do stuff differently than other other bands, I would say. Um, just the way they approach their instruments is just a very interesting and inspiring way. Gojira kind of came from a death metal or technical death metal background, um, but certainly have elements of prog and groove metal in their music and primarily nowadays it's strictly prog or groove metal as we're seeing with this album they are ditching most of their death metal sound it however it's still very heavy whether this is a their heaviest album uh, which is it's easy to say that it's not um we're gonna break it down and uh i'll let you guys know what i think of it so, opening up the album immediately is The Shooting Star, and right off the bat, you're hit with this spacey, atmospheric ambience. Ambience? Ambience? Whatever. And it's it's interesting, and it's it's grabbing, and it's it's thick, and it has something to it. It, it puts you in a... Immediately, you know, you're in a different space. Um listening to this Gojira album. It's a very chanty, ethereal, uh, it has air to it. This, this, the whole track, it's not, not a very heavy track, but it is thick and groovy and pounding in parts. And I, I like it, but it's not what you would think Gojira would open up an album with. Um, it's, it's one of the lighter songs on the album. But it does give you the sense that Gojira is going to try some new things on this album, for better or for worse. Second up is Silvera, probably one of the best tracks on the album. Uh, we got a music video for this a few, maybe a month back, uh, a few weeks back, I can't remember exactly, but it might be my favorite track on the album. This song is classic Gojira, super heavy, um, groovy has some technical parts into it quality quality lyrics that actually have meaning behind them um talking about changing the world and being a better person and you know good positive lyrics that i really uh, i really enjoyed listening to um just a super fun you know amazing track and these are the kind of songs you expect from gojira these you know they're just fun it's just a fun song to listen to uh, you know, right off the bat, it starts off heavy with the, you know, just great riffs. Gojira's riffs are always some of the best riffs out there. And this song might be one of the best Gojira songs of all time. Right after that is the song, The Cell. This song could have easily found its way onto L'Enfant Sauvage or a few other prior Gojira albums. And, you know, for a lot of people, you know, they, like, they look forward to that. Um, there are people out there that don't like change or want things to sound, you know, similar to what they're used to, which I, I understand to, to an extent. But, but, I mean, this song is great. The Cell, it, it, like I said, it would fit right in with the older catalog. So, no deviation here, and if there is, it's ever so slightly. Um, it's just a classic Gojira track, super heavy, super fast, and fun, and fun to listen to. Um, just a real awesome song. The first song that I heard from the new album, and I think it was the first song released, uh, it also got a music video, and that would be Stranded. The second I heard this song, I was like, yes, just that awesome, da -da, da -da, da -da. and then the whammy pedal, and I love, I've always been a huge fam, fan, fam? I've always been a huge fan of whammy pedals, and boy, do they give it justice, you know, they do justice with the whammy pedal, it just... A perfect riff, a super groovy, awesome track. Um, definitely more accessible than older Gajira 
Uh, but it's still Gojira. It has a very Gojira sound to it. I know that might sound dumb, but it doesn't sound forced or fake. I think this is a very well thought out track. Um, not a super technical song by any standards. Probably the easiest song they've ever written, but it's a it's an awesome song. Another one of my favorite tracks on the album. And for one of the more intriguing songs on the album, it is the title track, Magma. Um, a very interesting song. Uh, definitely in the vein of Gojira and, you know, where they're going to at, at this point in their in their career and you know just the sound of this album it fits but this is a weird song um the main the verse riff is primarily composed of just these harmonic notes um which the first few times i listened to it i mean i you know when gojir does stuff like that i love you know just the guitar wizardry and the way that, the way they approach their instruments and play things differently than other people um they do it almost too much on this track. At the first, you know, at the first two verses, it's fine, but it is the longest track on the album, uh, almost seven minutes long. And I remember thinking to myself, towards the end of the track, I think maybe the four minute mark, they would play the harmonic thing again. And I, while I like it, it's it's almost like uh, it's almost begins to be too much like you've heard it too many times because it's just these same few notes repeated over and over and it's a bit monotonous but it's still a great great uh, it's a great song um i think there's a strong mastodon sound or influence to this track and another one of my favorite bands but they don't it's not uh, not a ripoff by any means it's just it sounds like a Mastodon song in parts, um, especially the the lead that's played in the, I don't know if it's the pre-chorus or the chorus, but it sounds like a Brent Hines lead. And I, when I heard that, I was like, yes. But there are super, there's a super heavy chuggy part uh, towards the latter part of the song. And that's, that's, a, that's a very awesome part of the song. Um, I think the track could be slightly shorter, and I'm a fan of long songs. It's just the... You know, I don't know if it's the third time or the fourth time you hear this harmonic, the harmonic verse riff. It just like it becomes slightly monotonous, and maybe that's just my personal. Well, obviously it's my personal opinion, but um, it's still it's an overall good track, just not the strongest track on the album. Well, so far, Magma is, has to feature the most clean vocals that I've ever heard on a Gojira album, and while that may put off some people. I actually enjoy it um although the sounds in this album happen to be very airy and atmospheric and almost chanty at times and it seems like most tracks on the album kind of follow that and uh, a good track to look at is the, the track prey because it goes back and forth between these airy chanty verses with these uh these clean vocals and then it, it goes right into a classic you know double bass fast uh gojira part uh with with the the uh the screaming vocals and the way they mix the two back and forth it's like it goes from this airy chanty sound to the traditional gojira sound and you know overall the album the the album and the essence of the album is that they can add this atmosphere and you know make these songs sound huge but at the same time it's still gojira and you're gonna have the heavy parts you're gonna have the you know the the double bass and the crazy drums and the the heavy chugs and as a Gojira fan I like that they're they're experimenting but they're not entirely abandoning their sound I mean there is pretty much no death metal on this album at all uh which for some people the you know the, the departure of the death metal sound is going to it's going to put off some people but it they didn't departure the Gojira sound and I think that's more important to me um, the essence of Gojira is still on this album. They just have blended it with this atmosphere. And th this album really sounds huge. We have the track Only Pain, which is probably the heaviest track on the album. Uh, just again, again, just a fun, solid, creative Gojira song. And this like is what you expect from Gojira. Tracks like this and Silvera um, and The Cell. These are awesome, awesome material that it's it fits in with the old Gojira sound or you know what what we've expected Gojira to sound like over the past decade or so 
but it sounds new and it's fresh and refreshing. And a lot of the tracks on this album will definitely, you know, blend right in with their with their live set. I can hear songs like Silvera and Pray, you know, and then right after that you'll hear Plan Obsolescence or The Axe. It'll I think it'll fit. It'll make a nice make nice for the live sound. And I think the these a lot, some of this album is kind of geared towards live because uh, the groove element will definitely go over because Gujira finds themselves you know playing with big acts like Metallica and all these big festivals where you know there's a lot of people there that have never heard them before so some of the heavier stuff playing that live in front of these crowds may not go over well but I think this album. It gives you the best of both, world, both worlds. It has the heavy stuff on it, but then the groove, it's just undeniable. It's just undeniable groove that people seeing them for the first time will have no choice but to like this band. Next up is the song Lowlands, and this is definitely the lightest song on the album and the lightest material that Gajira's ever released. The song definitely tends to lean on the atmospherical sounds of the album. Um, but really, at no point does it turn itself up to 11 like the other tracks uh, previous. There are heavier parts towards the latter of the song, towards the end of the song. This entire track is similar to the opening track. Really, there's only clean vocals in it. And technically, it's not the close of the album because the close of the album is this instrumental Middle Eastern Arabic sounding. Um, it's also the second instrumental on the album. There is a very Black Sabbath-esque uh, somewhere the be towards the beginning of the album, which was which is nice to listen to. Um, definitely Black Sabbath influence there, but um, with Lowlands, it's at the close of the album, and this, this the album only kind of feels like it doesn't have a close because the album I mean, it doesn't leave you wanting more, but it's not the most satisfying ending, and that is kind of the downfall of this album. Which so far it's it's a very great album. It's an enjoyable listen if you're a Gojira fan um, and it's definitely the album that's gonna bring more fans to them and like I said this album is gonna put some people off if you want a Land Font Sauvage ripoff you didn't get it this time but Magma is still a great album and there are great songs on this Silvera, Stranded, Only Pain, Prey, The Cell these songs are if you're a huge Gojira fan, you can't deny these songs. The the songwriting on this album, it's it's to a new level. So before I give you a rating for this album, let's go over the pros and cons. So Magma, overall, I'm feeling a strong 7 out of 10. While it's not my favorite Gojira album, it's definitely a good listen. And if you're a prog metal fan, you need to listen to this album because Gojira is pretty much one of the bigger bands in prog today. Um, I mean, they're not a new act, but uh, they're, they haven't been popular until very recent. And they're definitely on the rise. So plan on seeing this band in the future only get bigger and only get better. I'm Darian Lux. Thanks for watching.